I think Naramata is very special. So Naramata, uh, it's a, it's the end of the road little community, uh, but it's a very vibrant community. There's a lot of community involvement, uh, and it and it shows on the vibe of the market. Crowds of visitors filled Naramata's community farmers market on Wednesday night, eager for in-season fruits and vegetables, and locally made food products and crafted goods. We are part of the BC Farmers Market Association, which requires uh, the criteria is you have to either make it, bake it, or grow it. So um, it, we want to have a good balance of that. So we do about 30, 30, 30 of either make it, bake it, or grow it. So that we don't have all artisans, we have a really nice balance between food, uh, craft, and farmers. Pretty incredible to have an opportunity like this uh, where I can make a product and sell it. Um, like for a market to facilitate that for me, I wouldn't be able to have the small business if, if it weren't for the market. Uh, so I'm pretty grateful to be here and, and really grateful for the uh, Naramata Slow for organizing it. Summer tourism has just started to really kick off in the Okanagan. Now this week you can really tell that there's a lot of tourists in town, but definitely for the month of June it was the locals that supported our market. Everybody comes here after the winter on, veg on Wednesdays, get their vegetables and see their neighbors and hang out, so have dinner together. It's a wonderful community feeling. When we do have those shiny days, it's been very profitable. We've been able to meet a lot of new faces, especially a lot of tourists that come around. Um, it's actually surprising that being such a small little town that they know about this place. Um, but it's been really great. It's been fun getting to know other vendors and what they sell and the opportunities that they give us here. Madam Market will be continuing each week on Wednesdays until September 29th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. For Castnet News in Naramata, I'm Casey Richardson.